I'm Isaiah Swart, senior, media team member, and I also perform poetry. Bang, 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 bang. Um, when I heard about MAD, which is really from the very beginning, it was already something that was interesting um, to me. I spoke with Chad really early on, and um, there was a similarity with MAG and another organization that um, wasn't doing as well on campus, um, and that was actually kind of ending. And because it was so similar, um, I kind of jumped onto the idea. Um, these were a lot of young people who were starting organization, and there was a lot of things um, coming from it that I could see um, that I was interested in and I wouldn't be a part of. So um, it gave me the opportunity to not only meet so many um, younger people um, with lower classifications than mine, but it gave me a chance to work with them uh, as far as help build them up in the organization and outside the organization and as well as um, get technical skills and practice um, with things that I'm interested in, like photography and doing video editing. Um, so it was, just, it was a lot of things, actually, and I can give you a long, broad, drawn-out story, but that's really what I saw. I saw the vision that Chad and Joanna saw, um, and I actually wanted to be there to help push it forward um, in the early stages. I've always been somebody that's interested in how the brain works, uh, so I would choose um, telepathy and a lot of uh, things that involve that sort of mind control and things of that nature because um, Professor X, for example, has always been someone who's killable. And because of my um, stance and um, brain power, and I feel like my life is roughly, you know, 90% mental. And you can really set your mind through anything, you can pretty much get through all of it too. Um, so when it comes to a uh, test or a project, dealing with people, as long as you put your mind in it um, and you're actually focused on it, then getting through the rest of it will be no problem. And if we can get other people to change the way they think, we can get a lot of the change that we're looking for anyway. So that would be the power I would choose. My favorite bad moment would be when Tyrell won Mr. VSU. Um, the both of us competed in the pageant together with two other guys and it was really um, enjoyable. I wish we would have more time to actually do it um, as far as practicing and setting up. But when Tyrell won, it was really great, not only because he's a mag with me, um, and because he's um, younger and has more time to kind of hold the crown and do something with it, but also because I felt like I, felt like I won. Um, I wasn't really hurt when he won. I was actually sad and I was glad um, that something that he did get it because I feel like um, despite a lot of people on the outside not knowing him, you know, who he is as a person, um, his talent, his skills, his personality, it like, all fits to somebody who would perfectly embody this to be a shit. And like I said, I felt like that was a personal achievement for me, um, even though it was him that actually won. So um, I would say that's probably my favorite moment. My favorite project would possibly be, I think I went to the highlight video that I personally been part of because it was something that was needed really last minute. Um, and that was like a town crash. And Jawan uh, and Rod had a lot of great meetings to present me to the project and ask me to get it done really fast. And Rod was kind of on his toes, he was kind of iffy, he was kind of nervous about it. But I got it done, we, got it, we had it ready for the event. And um, everybody really, much, really liked it. And because of, like I said, because of the time constraint that all of us had, I know I really thought that it was going to come out the way it did, um, but it actually came out really well. Like I said, they were happy. Uh, and it was great to kind of, you know, come in last minute for these guys because they actually had a faith in me to present it with me. So I was there for the most one. I enjoyed that. I was being part of it. But the office video was really funny. Uh, I wish I could have made that one. I like Final Cut Poets. And it's not to not complete it, but. Final Cut Pro is where I started. Um, that's actually the first thing I've learned. I taught it myself. Um, I got the software from Blue um, for my good man, I know. But I got software from Blue. I started playing around with that in Photoshop a few summers ago. And I actually made two videos that summer, um, which are on my YouTube page. And then from there, like, every project I've done for Mag um, and a few solo projects or outside projects uh, have all been done for Photoshop. I mean, do Final Cut, but um, I am working on using Adobe Premiere more. I played with it, but I work on using more just so that I'm well versed and I can use both sides of it just in case. Um, Mag has been great, whether it's been 
uh, outside of events, outside of working, just spending time together, joking around in the green room. Uh, nothing about this organization hasn't been working. Um, like I said, the last minute stress of putting projects together, um, trying to get things together, and rushing around, planning and big events, executing, collaborating. Uh, it's all been pretty great, and I really enjoy it. Um, the media team, uh, these guys are really encouraging. Uh, really talented with a lot of hard workers, just like everybody else. And if I could be here longer, <laughs> I would, and I would love to be around with them. Uh, for those who don't know us, I would really implore you to get to know us. We're, we're a great group of people, and uh, a lot of us, if not all of us, are going very far. So, um, you've seen a little bit about me. I'm Isaiah Smart, uh, media team, poet, and I'm saying, you live behind the brakes.